looking at how to actually do the gold work in the Anglo-Saxon design. We're using gold thread. And this is the thread that will be supplied. And you can see that it does like to split up at the ends. It consists of several little threads that are wound together that are twisted. So it's it's absolutely awful to try and sew normally. It can't go in and out through the linen um, very often. So it's couched. And I work from the entire bundle because as soon as it's cut, it's going to do the unraveling again. So I just work from the whole bundle and we're going to couch it going around and around on itself. And this couching stitch is very similar to the couching that you've already done down here in the, the flippers of this seahorse. So that's where we will start with this gold work. To begin with, I've woven my my thread through um, the back of the stitches and I'm just going to start here above his eye. It's up to you where you start, just figure on a place where you feel you can do the laps <laughs> and come back to. I'm choosing here because I can start here I'm going to head around and eventually this is going to fill in quite quickly and I'll just be doing these types of laps <laughs> as it gets smaller. Um, leave a good decent thread, a decent amount of thread at this end, not just because it's phrase, but in the end we will be tucking it under so you, you do want to be able to thread that onto a needle and get it under at some point. So I've just come up right next to the, the stitch on top of it. I'll come through and I'm going, I've estimated the width of that gold thread. It gets easier once you've started. It holds itself in place. And I'm pinching that down. And same again. I've come up on top. And I'm going to pinch that down. When you're dealing with corners, just make sure you go right up into the corner. You can even pierce the, the upper thread only ever so slightly, just to make sure there's a secure join. Um, I'll try and do this with my left hand. Feed it right up into that corner. In medieval embroidery where they used a lot of gold work, uh, couching, a lot of the gold was couched. We're doing what's called topside couching which means that the gold is staying on top. Um, when they use the medieval, the, the gold work for vestments or garments that were to be worn, they would, this little stitch that I've just made, they would make sure they go back through the same hole and they, don't, they would actually pop that gold to the underneath of the linen and that gives the gold this fantastic flexibility um, so it can be worn on clothes. It's absolutely fabulous. So um, I'm just following 
course of this design. Up close and flush with the above stitching. We've just come to his ear. Um, I'm still working from the large bundle. Um, so I just want to show you what to do up here. Um, so I've put the needle pretty much in the middle of the, of his ear. I try not to handle the gold too much, but it's it's not that bad. I actually, it's it's actually wonderful to work with. Um, but yeah, I just don't go rubbing it or anything. You can still hold it to manoeuvre it around. So I've just pinned that down. And we're going to come straight back down in a point. And that's the handy thing about gold. If you need to, to force it into an area, it crushes beautifully. So that's okay if you need to do sharp switch back turns like we're doing. I'm trying to get my hand out of the way for you. So I've come up flush with, with his ear. Putting that in position, you can hold it down if you need to. Can you see that? And I'm just going to pin that down with a little stitch. And that's the shape of his ear. So when we come back, we will be, I'm just looking for my scissors, when we come back around do the, doing the next lap, we'll just be filling in this area, all this. And at the end we'll do the normal thread for this part. The top part of the ear is normal and just the inner part is gold. Um, I also wanted to mention two other things. If you're wondering what these freckles are, that's just the way I start and stop. Um, my thread, it will eventually be covered by the gold, so um, I am going to make another video on how I start and stop, if you're interested. Um, and if you do, I've been telling you all along to, to come up the top side of the stitch. If you feel that you come to a spot where it's more convenient to start on the, on the underside of the gold, rather than coming up right next to the, the cotton thread, that's fine. Just do what you do what you need to. Um, it's, it's pliable, it's manoeuvrable. Um, the only really delicate part of it is this, these ends. Um, okay.